Hi, everybody. Welcome back. First of all, let me cover bacterial growth. Binary fission is the definition of how bacteria grow. Under ideal conditions of food, moisture, warmth, and time, pathogens will double in number every 10 to 20 minutes. As an example, if you start off with one bacterial cell and you let it double in size, every 10 minutes it becomes 5 million in 5 hours. It only takes a million to make you ill. You can fit a million pathogens on a pinhead. Also, bacteria don't start off as a single cell. They usually occur in thousands or millions. Let's look at spores. Two pathogenic bacteria produce spores, Clostridium and Bacillus. These two bacterial species survive adverse conditions, whilst other species would die. It is a resistant resting phases. Spores can survive high temperatures, chemicals, and dehydration. It is very difficult to destroy spores under normal cooking conditions. For example, if these two species experience unsuitable conditions, say too hot or too dry, the spore forms inside the cell. The cell disintegrates and releases the spore. When the spore is released, it can remain dormant for thousands of years. Spores have been found in Egyptian pyramids. Thousands of years old have been able to be revived. If you provide suitable conditions, such as moisture and heat, the spore can germinate. Under those suitable conditions, the cell is produced and multiplies. So rapid multiplication under the right conditions. Toxins are organic poisons. In other words, they are produced by living organisms. Pathogens produce two types of toxins. Exotoxins, for example, when bacteria grow in food, they release a toxin, which can cause food poisoning. Staphylococcus aureus naturally covers all human beings, so if we cough, sneeze, or touch food, our bacteria can be released into the food. Endotoxins are released by bacteria on death in the intestine. For example, if you ingest salmonella and they die in your intestines, they release the toxin. That's the end of Lecture 2. We looked at the nature of food poisoning bacteria and their effects on food. The four conditions necessary for the growth of food poisoning bacteria. The temperatures of the temperature danger zone and its importance in relation to food storage. And examples of high risk food. Thanks for watching. The next video will be the start of Lecture 3 Food Poisoning and Foodborne Disease and Personal Hygiene.